Okay, so I wanted to make a video to show some changes I made to Chili Pepper to make it easier to uh, change tools uh, on your mill when you're running uh, E2. So here's my uh, my mini mill, and uh, the way I do tool changes. So when you change to a new tool, you need to measure that tool against some fixed um, fixed point, so you know how long it is, uh, unless you actually have a uh, well set up tool length table and uh, repeatable. Uh, tool changer, which I don't have at this point. So the way I do this is I have this um, little um, it's like a gauge block that you before I start the job I would measure this, measure the tool to zero this, and I used the G55 coordinate system for that. Then when you run the, the program in G54 uh, whenever there's a tool change, Chili Pepper would pause I would move um, the mill over here, change the tool, go down, measure this, and then go back. And um, the only help you got from Chili Pepper for that was that it paused when it got to an M6 tool change command. So uh, then you had to type in manually the commands to raise uh, up out of the workpiece, move over here to G55, go down, and then do the tool change hand measure and then go back. You have to uh, make sure you switch back to the coordinate system and then go back to the, to the position that the mill was at when you resume the program. So that was um, kind of error prone. And if you mistype or if you forget to change back from the G55 coordinate system, which is here to here, to the workpiece coordinate system, G54, then you have a big crash in your hand. So what are these new changes? Here's Chili Pepper, and um, what I did was to add some settings to the uh, G-code widget here. Go down now here, you can see that there are two new boxes. One is G-code to send after pausing. When the uh, program gets to an M6 and Chili Pepper pauses it, it will send the G-code that you write here to uh, the controller. And then when you unpause, it will send the code here. So what I did here was to add the code that I need to save the position, G28.1, then move to machine coordinate C0, which is um, as high up as possible, save the position again into the G30, and then switch to the G55 coordinate system and move to um, X0, Y0. And then the reverse option when, um, when going back Go to machine Z, Z0, which raises the mill up to the highest point. Then go to the positions G30, which is at the top, but over where we were. Then G28, which is the position that we were at. And then switch back to the G54. OK, so how does this work? Let's try it. I'm going to cut some air here, um, but um, let's see what happens. I'm going to um, start the program. So there, the mill moved over to um, above the measuring point here, which is G55. And now we are in the tool change dialog. Another change is that it now says what the tool change is. This is an M6T14. Previously, you wouldn't know which tool you were supposed to change to unless you uh, looked in the G code. It says this here uh, also once you uh, cancel that. You're in tool change mode, change to tool T14. OK. So before, the only way you could get back was to send this reposition command. And um, that did not take into account the coordinate system you were in. Now it does that. So it remembers that I was in G54 when I got to the pause. So even though over here I am in G55, um, when I click on this, I would get back to G54, but I'm not. I'm not actually going to need to do that now because of this um, automated G code. So let's um, simulate that I'm going to measure the tool length here. So I'll move the um, move the mill down. <laughs> To where it would be. Okay, so that's where we would be if we'd measured 
tool offset and then uh, we set the tool length such that we, this is now the new zero for G55 and that will shift the G54 um, Z point so that um, it's also at the correct point. So now um, I want to restart the program. So I hit unpause as usual. <laughs> The mill moved over and restarted at the correct position. So that was a little peck drilling cycle, and now we are back in the uh, tool change position. And according to Chili Pepper, we are now supposed to change to tool seven. Anyway, so that's how this works. I hope um, this will make it easier to automate some aspects, at least, of the tool change um, procedure that wasn't possible before. Thanks.